This is Two Minutes in the Olive Garden. Today's text, Exodus chapter 7, verse 14 to 18. Wow, this is the first time I'm taking five verses in Two Minutes in the Olive Garden. This is a long one. Then the Lord said to Moses, Pharaoh's heart is unyielding. He refuses to let the people go. Go to Pharaoh in the morning as he goes out to the river. Confront him on the bank of the Nile and take in your hand the staff that was changed into a snake. Then say to him, The Lord, the God of the Hebrews, has sent me to say to you, Let my people go, so that they may worship me in the wilderness. But until now you have not listened. This is what the Lord says. By this you will know that I am the Lord. With the staff that is in my hand, I will strike the water of the Nile, and it will be changed into blood. The fish in the Nile will die, and the river will stink. The Egyptians will not be able to drink its water. Now that's a lot to chew on. After Pharaoh's heart was hardened more, despite the fact that the snake of Aaron and Moses had swallowed that of the magicians, the Lord had to instruct Moses and Aaron to perform more sophisticated miracles. The next agenda was to destroy the river Nile. Sometimes you think about how God gives some people so much time to repent and to change their minds, and you would wonder why God does so. You wouldn't understand him. But he is God, and he knows why he does what he does. God gradually began to collapse the economy of Egypt, an economy without good drinking water or fish, and their water infested, polluted, would definitely collapse sooner or later. This is how God sometimes treats wicked men like Pharaoh. May God begin to cripple the strength of your enemies. The shalom of Yahweh be upon you.